very bright, very beautiful lot me this morning. I've got loads of bits and bobs to do. I've been up here since eight this morning just washing the crap off. Um, as you can see, I've got all the old fence panels. I'm going to try and work some magic with them. I'll try and pop off some, some poultry. I might try and make some matrix for some other vegetables on today. Weather permitting. Um, I'm absolutely knackered. It's the first day of uh, officially a school half term, so it's a Saturday. And uh, I'm going to crack on with a few bits and I'll take you along for the journey. So uh, keep watching. Right, as you can see, I've cut some uh, the old fence panel slats down and painted them. So they're going to have a bit of a dry and then I'm going to clad the front of this, cut some more, clad the back. I'm not going to paint the inside. I think I want it quite bright. I don't want it that oven in there. Um, yeah, so I've got to give you a quick show and tell of what I've done so far. But yeah, I've got these drying. And then the, once these are dry, I'm going to get them on. So in a few minutes, I might wash and do some bits of bobs around the plot. I might even have coffee. I'm absolutely gagging. I've been run lively since like half six this morning. So uh, yeah, I think I'm going to let these dry and have a coffee. And then I might show you when I put them on. So catch up in a sec. As you can see, I've cladded the cold frame. I'm not doing the inside. I want it quite light, like I said earlier. But um, yeah, I think that looks all right. I broke the uh, jigsaw blade, so I can't cut any more wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it all. So I'm going to actually clad the compost bins as well, make them look a bit neater. And God, I did a thing. I painted, as you can see, a bit of the shed wall. It is going black anyway, and I can't believe how different it looks. So, um, yeah, I've started it. Got to paint that side behind the cold frame, and then it's gone. I ain't gonna move it out and do it again. It weighs an absolute ton, and I'm up here on my own. So, yeah, I'm gonna crack on. I'm gonna paint all the cladding for the compost bins. I'm gonna get it on, show you what I've done, and then tomorrow I'll come up again with a jigsaw blade and just whip the tops off so they fit the size. As you can see, I've started cladding the uh, compost bins. They look so much better already. It's going to look even nicer when I cut these off tomorrow. I say I broke the um, jigsaw blade. So, uh, yeah. I've only gone around there a little bit. I'm absolutely shattered today. Weightlifting that... Uh, oh, God, my a is bad as well. I'm sorry about that. I'm rubbing my nose. Weightlifting the cold frame is an absolute ton because it's two pallets and then cladded with fence panel cladding. So it weighs a bit, it's not going anywhere. I'm not worried about it blowing it off, that's for sure. But um, I'll be back up tomorrow, slightly less covered in paint, and uh, probably in the same clothes because I'm not going to muck you up somewhere else. And uh, see you morning. Back again. Right, so I'm sacking off the mic, it's shit. I've had people moaning, well not moaning, just saying how crap it is. It is crap, I'm giving up. So you're going to have to play with me through the phone, I'm afraid. So I'm going to finish this off today, top me to chopping off and um, tidy up and I'm going to plant some bits in. So uh, we'll crack on, I'm going to get the kettle on because I'm gagging. It's a bit nistier today, I'm hoping the sun comes out because actually it's quite nippy. But after yesterday, how glorious it was, felt a bit spoiled yesterday, not so much today. So uh, we'll crack on and uh, we'll go along and we'll see what we're doing. Right, as you can see, I've cladded it, I've done all the way round. Um, the doors I'm going to cover in, somebody gave me some car interior black fabric. Um, I think that's what it is anyway. It, it, I've lined some of the, car, the floor paths with it so it's not letting any weeds through. So it's UV protected and stuff. So I'm going to line those two bits with that when I get a chance. But uh, today's project was do that and I am over the moon with how that looks. <sighs> Feels like a more feels a bit tidier. Yes, the doors look a bit gopping, but that looks loads better. I've left the back one open, not put a top on it, because I like to keep all my uh, bamboo canes in one area, and that they fit perfectly. Down there. So um, I think I'm going to have a look at planting some beans in it. Not beans, peas in a minute. So uh, I'll take you for a ride in that in a minute. See you shortly. So I didn't plant anything. I painted the sides of the shed which I quite like, black. I've got a lovely bright colour coming for the front. I'm not going to tell you what that is just yet until it comes, a bit of a surprise. Um, and I did something very brave. I painted the B rail 
bright pink. <laughs> so I'm hoping that uh, the peas don't mind it. Really bright pink. Oh my word, the temperature's really dropped. It's been quite mild today, but the temperature's just really dropped in the last 20 minutes. So I'm going to go home and I shall be back tomorrow and I will definitely be planting some stuff because I've been saying that for the last two days and I've got sidetracked with building and painting. And uh, I don't want to do any more building and painting just lately. I'm going to crack on with some getting some shit in. So uh, see you in the morning. Morning again. It is Bank Holiday Monday, so the Monday after Easter. Um, it's a bit misty today. My back's aching from all this building. So today I'm going to plant a few seeds in the polytunnel. The greenhouse is full at home. And I'm like, do you know what? I've got a polytunnel. I was going to go and sit up there. Rest my back for a bit, have a coffee, chat rubbish to myself and get some stuff in. So I'm going to get some uh, cabbage, Vivaldi F1, um, cabbage Dutchman F1, some Cypress Brussels sprouts, also F1. These are from Dobby's. Um, got some wildflower seeds. I'm going to put them at the back of the uh, shed in the compost area. Some poppies. Pizzicante, nice pink ones. I had those at home last year in the garden. I've got a couple of black eyed Susans. Oh, I've dropped a packet of seeds. Why do I always drop them? I've got Allium, multi coloured seeds. They're the ones I've dropped on the floor. Some more marigolds. I've got a load at home. Need a load up here. Thought I'd get them done up here. Some Aster ostrich feather. Got some of those at home as well. Do some up here, save carrying them. Chrysanthemums, same again. Got some more peanuts from uh, Nanu, so I might do a couple of extra ones up here and see how they go, just without any extra heat, just in the in the polytunnel itself. I'm gonna get some beetroot in here, and I might do a row outside. I can't decide whether I'm gonna do it in or out, but they're going in today. So what are these? Orange blue. They're poppies. Why am I saying orange blue? Oh, orange and blue, it says. Thompson and Morgan sunshades. They're Californian poppies. I have those at home, so. I've got some red amaranth. Get some of that sown. Some mixed seeds, salad lettuce, which is Blonde de Paris, Blonde de Lola Rossa, which I've already got out there, Regina. And sanguan, I think that's how you pronounce that. Get some radishes in, long scarlet. These are for a friend at work. I don't like radishes myself, but get some Swiss chard in. That is the fork giant, so that gets quite big. Oh, I don't want no more onions, put onions on the glow. And then, oh, Melola Rossa. I'm not going to plant any of that if I've got some in that mixed bag. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to do this morning. I'm going to sit and plant some of these up. I'll uh, give you a little show and tell, and when I've got some things, I'll show you. Click! It's fire magic! They're all in. All I've got to do now is uh, water them. But yeah, happy with that. Looks a bit more like I've got something going on up here now. Um, Just had the scare in my life though. Just been in the shed to take some bits back. And there's two bloody birds sat on my chair and on top of my kettle. Just flew at me. One was a, I think there was robins to be honest with you. Yeah, frightened me to bloody death. Just sat there in my shed. <laughs> well, you know, you're not expecting it and they just come boom out at you. But yeah, so um, we'll have to be a bit more careful going in there because uh, I would hate for them to fly into the window. Um, but yeah, whew, I think I might need coffee for my shock. But yeah, I'm happy with that. So we've got in Brussels, Mums. Vivaldi cabbage, marigold, two lots of trays, asters, some poppies, elysium, sunflowers, peas, mixed lettuce, some black eyed Susan, one of the plot orders gave me, and some Swiss chard for now. And then at home, I've got a few things on the go at home as well. So, uh, yeah, looks like we're in for a good, uh, good session if it all takes. Right, I'm going to get a coffee. And then I'm going to plant some beetroot and some radishes out on the plot. So, uh, yeah, show you in a minute. 
anybody know what's going off with this rhubarb it's a rhubarb victoria um i've never seen a big bulbous thing like that on one before so uh, if anybody could tell me what it is and what i need to do with it i'd much appreciate it thanks because it looks like a big thing like an alien egg sprouting out the ground obviously it's not it is a victoria rhubarb so uh, anybody suggestions answers on a postcard and all that i'd be appreciative if you let me know thank you right as you can see i did make a start i forgot you was with me today i put my trowel down i don't even know what i anyway oh dear so i've made a little divot again i'm gonna sprinkle some beetroot seeds in there and then I'll show you what I've made to go over the top. So I've got beetroot the chogger. So oh, we had these last year and they're all different. Can't get my glove off. I discovered that I really, really like last year. Um, white beetroot oh my god that was a game changer absolutely beautiful so i'm gonna sprinkle some seeds in sprinkle some more of them out i don't tend to thin these out because i don't mind them little i don't mind them big So we'll do that and then what I'm going to do as, a, as normal is when I put stuff in so I can see where they are, bit of compost, excuse my leg, all the way across. In a little bit, just so I can see where I've been. And then I'll give it a water, and then I've made a cloche. I'll show you that in a second. Um, in fact, what bear with me, I'll show you now. poly roof that was spare from my uh, greenhouse making at home and what I've done is I've just warmed a screwdriver up in there on the camping cooker poked a hole through then I've got some pegs that we use for keeping down the weed membrane I'm going to thread them through there and then just make a little shelter like that across my beetroot and I've made some smaller ones with some other bits I'm going to stick over the radishes for now just in case we get some mad snow or some mad frost so uh, yeah quite like the look of these not bad for zero pence so uh, I'm all for zero pence in right, I'm going to leave that there a minute I'm going to get my watering can out the, uh, the greenhouse um, the polytunnel give him a quick water and then put the cloche over i'll show you afterwards so i've just brought so i've just broadcast sown some radish seeds down there they're the long slim ones i'm going to give you a little water you know the bloody rain we've had just lately i'm surprised i need any bloody water all right again i've got another little polytunnel made up 
I think I might have made the holes a bit too high up the plastic, but they'll do. Keep the birds off, keep the cats off, keep the foxes off, keep the snow off should we get some, which I feel like there's a good chance with the English weather that that could be an absolute possibility. So, stick that there. Excuse my head and my arm and that there and that is goes in just to keep it a bit of a sheltered so yeah now you can see let me lift you up and show you what the old so that's looking all right that one weren't long enough to go all the way to the end so I've just used a little bit of another one so we're uh, That'll keep them quiet and keep us going for a little bit. So, uh, yeah, not sure what else to do today. I might have a little tidy up. See a few things around the plot that are annoying me. So, uh, yeah, see you in a minute. Right then. So, I've got a few seeds here. Uh, not seeds, bulbs I'm going to put in. I've got some mixed fig reader. Some gladdies, like a gladdy. And then some bulb, allium a lot, the socks and anemones. I can't say that word. <laughs> and then meninis. So you can have a giggle at that. It's one word I can't say. So what I'm going to do is I want my gladdies up the back here. I was waiting to put these in till I finished that. I think the colours will look beautiful against this black. And uh, I'm going to do a row of gladdies, then a row of those. And I think the small pack of bulbs I'm going to put around the back and dot them around the sides. But, uh, just have a little weed.
right then i've had a tidy up bit of a weed all the way around that looks so much better i feel like i've accomplished a lot today especially because uh, the last two weeks all i've done is building stuff and i felt a bit a bit deflated with it all as much as it needed doing i weren't very happy i'm going to bring some pom plants up from home because if you take a look, there is a hell of a lot of tadpoles. What I'll do is I'll take you for a zoom in. Look at all those. There's absolutely hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them all over. So, in theory, I should not have a slug and snail problem this year. But we shall see. But yeah. I'm going to crack on, find some else to do while I'm here. Right, chapettes and chaplets. Chaplets. Try that again. Right. Right then. What I'm going to do is I am going to remake a bean cage. It's called bean um, cage. Yeah, not cage. What am I talking about? It's pork. I'm tired. It's for the ones that was on this little pink bed here. Um, it's not going to be tall enough because it was only just for um, peas and peas don't grow very tall and, I, and I've took my, some broad beans in there so uh, I want to make a taller one so I'm just going to stand here for as long as it takes so it gets that massive band from where I brought it I'll turn them upside down and get all the fat ends at the bottom yep and then I'm going to tie two together and do um, that one and that one and then I've got the original top that was long enough that too and then when I've done across the top I might have to get the step ladders out put the support at the top and I actually might put another one crikey did you say how grim it was earlier on it's really warm now in this sun. I feel like I'm squinting at you. Um, I'm hoping it's better today without the uh, stupid mic that seems to cause more hassle than they're actually worth. Sounds like people are arriving now, the sun's come out. So say okay, I'm going to finish this off and then I'm going to go home and have the dinner we're supposed to have had yesterday. Roast beef. Well, I came up here early and forgot to put these in the slow cooker. So we're having beef dinner today, which is not a bad thing, really. Always good for a roast beef dinner. Just wish I'd got some veggies. Right, so then's them. Now, I don't know if you can see them. Very tall, out of the way. I'm going to crack them over here and I'll show you what I'm doing in a second. Start at the back. I'm not going to go too mad because that looks better already. I need to do is get the ladders out. Oh, let me move that one in a bit. That one looks a bit. I just need to come down a bit more. That a bit. And then I can thread. I'll show you when I've done that because I might fall off the ladder. <laughs> I am clumsy like that. Right, as you can see, the bean structure's up. What I did last year, which I thought was a very good idea, to protect my eyes and everybody else's, I got some big legs from Easter egg hunt left over and all I do is melt a hole in the bottom clip them together and put them on the ends of the things where uh, the canes stops poking your eye out so anything that I do low level that I think I'm going to catch my eye that's what I do um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home 
we're back up in the week and film the stringing up of it. My beans aren't ready to do anything yet, so I'm not going to be uh, too bothered if they're not stringed up just yet. But bean strings up, not bean string. What on earth am I on with? The bean frame is up. Um, later on, when these come out, I'll give it a good feed, and then uh, the runner beans can go in there, and then that's. This is just be constantly topped up with food, compost, fertiliser, you name it, I'll chuck it in there and uh, get my runner beans in there later in the year. So uh, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, hope the sound's better this time without that dodgy bloody mic because I feel like it's better and uh, see you next week, bye!